now it may so happen that you are extracting data or retrieving data from multiple tables and you need to construct your result from multiple tables one after the other so mysql provides a very powerful feature which is the union and you can use the union clause to achieve what i just mentioned so this module will briefly cover the union and as i've been mentioning with reference to the modules about code you need to actually sit and type the code and run it it's not complicated it's very simple but it will give you a good understanding so let's go ahead so we'll talk about the simple union okay then the properties of union we'll be talking about with reference to the names and data types duplicate elimination also because it and sorting on union limit and nesting there are certain properties of the union vis-a-vis -vis which column was selected in the first table which columns in the second table and so on and this is going to become clear as we go and proceed with the examples let's move ahead for the following examples assume you have the three tables t1 t2 and t3 these are the tables we have okay t1 t2 and t3 table t1 and t2 have integer and character columns and t3 has date and integer columns this is the date okay and this is the integer To write a union statement that combines multiple retrievals, just write several select statements and put the keyword union between them. For example, to select the integer column from each table, we do this. So we have this union over here and then union over here. And this is the union for all these tables and this is the answer. Okay. This is fairly simple. Let's look at more complicated with names and data type look at the properties the names and data types for the columns of the union result come from the names and types of the columns in the first select first select the second and subsequent select statements in the union must select the same number of columns but they need not have the same names or types okay you see over here we have integer and character and we have integer and date over here we have character over here character they are not same okay columns are matched by position not by name which is why these two queries return different results now i'll show you the queries also in both cases the columns selected from t1 i and c determine the types used in the union result these columns have integer and string type so the type conversion takes place when selecting values from t3 for the first query this one over here d is converted from date to string that happens to result in no loss of information for the second query over here d is converted from date to integer which does lose information and i is converted from integer to string all right so you see we have what we have over here date versus integer and integer versus character over here so these are the issues with the union you have to be careful about now duplicate elimination so union has the following properties by default union eliminates duplicates rows from the result set okay there are no duplicates t1 and t2 both have a row containing values of one and red but only one such row appears in the output also t3 has two rows containing the date 2004-01-01 and 200 one of which has been eliminated if you want to preserve duplicates follow the first union keyword with all over here so we have this uh, what we were trying to eliminate before over here over here these are the duplicates now how to perform sorting on the union i'll show you the sort a union result add a order by a clause after the last select it applies to the query result as a whole however because the union uses column names from the first select the order by a should 
refer to those names not the column names from the last select you can also specify an order of clause for individual select statement within the union to do this enclose the select including its order by within the parenthesis which is shown over here and limit can be used in a union in a manner similar to that for order by if added to the end of the statement it applies to the union result as a whole which is over here if enclosed within parenthesis as part of an individual select statement it applies only to that select you need not select from different tables you can select different subsets of the same table using different conditions this can be useful as an alternative to running several different select queries because you get all the rows in a single result rather than as several result sets so you see sorting on the union how it works and it's a very powerful feature that's all i have to discuss in this module thank you very much